but the furnace of this sport creates something that I can't explain to you, right? The furnace of lifting each other up, the furnace of dealing with loss, the furnace of just persevering in something that there are moments where you don't think you're gonna get through. And when Darren was injured, um, my friend Dave DeBruin, uh, he and I and Darren and many of these, of these guys were sweet mates for many years, he called me the next morning. I didn't believe him. So the, the three of them, the two of we, Dave and I rushed from wherever we were, from Virginia and, and Delaware, to go to the hospital, um, and that started something, right? We thought, we all thought, at least immediately, that Darren would heal. Right, because his spine bent, the vertebrae broke, spine didn't snap. We thought he would heal, and I can tell you he was in absolute utter misery. In misery. And he asked me, and I know he asked Dave, and he asked others to run out to his Ford Bronco and grab his 357 and shoot it. Right, and we said that's just not going to happen. And it started something. It started. It started prayer. Right, we didn't know what else to do, so we grabbed his arm and we started praying. Right? We started praying. And God worked through his brokenness yes. to create this. But we would drive down, I'd get in the car, and we would cry like babies. <laughs> <laughs> and just open up and share with one another about our girlfriends, about our lives, about how miserable poor human was. <laughs> and then I was really, truly blessed when both Draws and I committed to Maryland. And we left Fort Union. <laughs> in, right around Thanksgiving, and it started in Maryland in January. And our first class was bowling. Fall was time. But, um, draws is, so to me, I can sum it up as it was like a toasted marshmallow, hard and crispy on the outside soft and gooey on the inside. <laughs> and he loved everybody. And we here are all truly blessed to have him in our lives. It was one day you met him across paths with him, but that was a special man. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna miss him. He was a good guy. And he, he, he had nothing but love in his heart for everybody. And that's all I wanted to share.